Hello, I'm Ken Morayf, and in this video, we're gonna give you an overview of the retirement checklist that we think you should go through before you retire. The first thing that you wanna do is decide where you want to live. Many times people choose to downsize or go to a place that has a lower cost of living or less traffic or all those kind of things. We also wanna look at practicing your retirement now. Our recommendation always is to start thinking about your retirement in advance and start practicing it. If you're going to be a volunteer or you're going to teach at a college or you're going to do you know, those kind of things, you may want to go see if you actually like doing that. It may turn out that you don't. <laughs> and if that's the case, then maybe you rethink what you're going to do when you have your second childhood without parental supervision, which is what we call your retirement. Our belief system is that when you retire, so should your debt be retired. So we want to have a game plan around making sure that your debt is all paid off. We also want to look at your risk profile. As you near retirement and then once you get into retirement, your risk profile is going to be different than when you were 20, 30, 40, or even 50 years old. You know, during your lifetime, what you are doing is growing your money. You want to retire, so you're in growth mode, you're more aggressive. But now that you're about to retire, what you want to think about is the fact that you're going to be taking money out of your investments rather than putting money into them. You want to think about health care what healthcare costs are going to be and all the things that need to be considered when it comes to that, Medicare, Social Security, etc. Also, we want to make a budget. We want to look at what your expenses are currently, but then more importantly, what your expenses are going to be when you get into retirement. Social Security is one of the biggest parts of retirement planning. You want to have a game plan for making sure you get your Social Security on time and you maximize your benefits and those kind of things. And then finally, consider rolling over your retirement plans at work your 401k and all those kind of things. You may have accumulated money there, you may have a pension, a profit sharing plan, your 401k as I mentioned. So should you roll that over, should you leave it where it is, those kind of decisions are part and parcel of the retirement planning checklist. So if you go through all of those things, then we believe you've put in a good amount of thought and are ready to build your plan. And in other videos, I'm going to address each one of those items separately so that I can give you some detail on how to do each step. I hope you'll watch all those other videos, and I thank you for watching this one.